Good, happy Tuesday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, two men to be sentenced for role in Madbury's teen's stabbing death. Two men who pled guilty to second-degree murder in the 2014 stabbing death of a Madbury teen are scheduled to be sentenced Tuesday. Michael Tantum and Zachary Pennett struck a plea deal with the state in exchange for their testimony against Christian Woleski. Hillary Clinton holds rallies in New Hampshire. Democratic presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton held three rallies in New Hampshire today after she officially filed for the primary Monday. Coyote alert issued for Merrimack. Merrimack police are issuing a coyote alert. Its animal control officer received a report of a heavy coyote presence in the area of French Court. Windham Woman sues Bill Cosby for defamation. A Windham woman is joining the growing ranks of accusing accuser suing Bill Cosby of allegedly defamation. Gatsis reveals in Mayor Recount. A citywide recount completed Monday in Manchester confirmed Mayor Ted Gastis won re election over his opponent, Joyce Craig. Manchester Police investigating bank robber. Police are investigating a bank robbery at a Granite State Credit Union branch in Manchester. Accomplish in 97 murder of Epsom officer arrested in Boston. A New Hampshire fugitive wanted for violating his parole after serving time in jail for being an accomplice in the killing of a police officer was arrested in Boston Monday night, state police said. Clinton veers away from commenting on Sanders' loyalty to Democratic Party. Hillary Clinton, after filing her candidacy for the New Hampshire primary Monday afternoon, declined to say whether she considers her chief foe for her party's presidential nomination a loyal Democrat. Defense in Mall attempted kidnapping case seeks to suppre suppress evidence. Lawyers for a man accused of trying to abduct a teenager from the Merrimack Premium Outlets are challenging some of the evidence against him.
man accused of crashing into Rochester police cruiser. A Middletown, New Hampshire man was arrested and accused of smashing into a Rochester police cruiser Friday night before continuing through a busy downtown area. Balsam Project clears Coas County Hundos. The plan for a redevelop of the Balsam Resort has passed a critical hurdle. Brothers charged after man says gun shown in road rage incident. Two brothers are facing charges after a man reported they followed him out of a mall parking lot and one of them waved a gun out a car window. Mark Kinnear, Owen, 23, and Brandon Wang, 21, were arraigned Monday. According to court paperwork, police said Lang told them that he took a gun from the glove box of their vehicle, loaded it, and gave it to his older brother. Gilmore Tots qualification calls debate process dishonest. Former Virginia Governor Jim Gilmore filed his candidacy for New Hampshire primary on Monday and took full advantage of the media portals that was packed into the Secretary of State's office to await Hillary Clinton's arrival late in the day. One dead in officer involved shooting at South S dot C dot college. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division has confirmed to Station WYFF that one person is dead after a shooting involving a campus police officer at a college campus Monday night. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. See you back here later. Goodbye.